William H. Hall High School. They've been coming to EE for almost 25 years. Here's their director, James Antonucci. Thank you very much, Todd. It is such a pleasure to be here. Welcome from West Hartford, Connecticut. There are so many fantastic bands that we have heard today. We are in the auditorium right now, and we are beside ourselves um, because you are so talented. So thank you for inspiring us. Thank you, Todd, Megan, and Oliver, and all of Jazz Lincoln Center and Winton in the band. I'd like to thank the West Hartford Public School System uh, very much uh, supported us this year with some technology upgrades. <clears throat> my colleagues here at Hall and my wonderful music teachers in uh, West Hartford Public Schools that are just second to none and just unbelievable. Thank you for all that you do and help building these young musicians. The parents and students, uh, the parents, uh, thank you so much for your support. The last two years, we've had a difficult couple of years and the cancellations of some big milestones. And thank you to the students. You are uh, just fill my heart and I just, uh, I just I love working with you every day and you've taught me so much this year, so thank you for that. A couple quick uh, thank yous. We uh, got a lot of technology to actually record and uh, submit things and actually uh, program uh, some virtual projects and for the performing arts department here at Hall in general. And that was not only parents and the community that offered donations, but the Hartford Foundation for Public Giving, the Ellen uh, Jean Goldfarb Memorial Charitable Trust and Gifts of Music, and we could not do it without you. Lastly, uh, Dan Zatoon and Andy Mayo, our principal and department supervisor for music. Um, thank you, thank you. Alec Head, our recording engineer for this, what you're about to hear. Spencer Bazzano, our technical director, and my wonderful wife, Rachel, who's a huge support. Thank you, <clears throat> and my two beautiful girls, uh, Rose and Grace, for letting daddy go back to school at night. So thank you. You're gonna hear two tunes. Uh, the first is going to be Prelude to a Kiss, featuring Maceo Hertz Velasquez on piano and Dylan Heinen on alto saxophone. And then that's going to be followed by Harlem Congo, which is going to feature Harry Epstein on trumpet, and Ruth Narajan on trombone, Noah Yantef on clarinet, and Toby Siegel on the drums. Thank you.
Woo wee, Harlem Congo. Man, doesn't get any better than that. We're here with uh, James Antonucci from William H. Hall High School in West Hartford, Connecticut. James, how are you feeling about your band's uh, recordings? I loved it. They did a fantastic job, and I'm so proud of them. Um, and, you know, to record uh, 12 feet apart, uh, I think our drummer is uh, 50 feet from our lead trumpet player, and to be able to come across with what we did is is pretty amazing, and it could not happen without the extraordinary human beings that you see walking in behind me. <laughs> I was going to say, I feel like uh, you're in your basement and a bunch of people came over for a party. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do those kinds of things here, Mr. Stoll. Let's go on to the next subject, okay? <laughs> uh, talk a little bit. So, you and I saw some some pictures of your band. You were recording in your auditorium, spaced out, twelve feet apart, all kinds of PPE on your instruments. I mean, how do you work through that? What I mean is it, it just pure tenacity? Is it um, you, you inspiring the students? Is the music itself? What is it that helps you work through that? I don't know. I think I think I think they should respond to that. What helped you all work through that? Uh, yeah, I, I, a lot of. Yeah, I was a lot gonna... of tenacity, um, and definitely just recognizing like the 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 patterns of the room in terms of like how the sound reverberates off of like different parts and like certain delays between the horns and the rhythm section, and just like 
just working with them and, and learning because it was a completely new like sonic space. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When Toby went out and heard the band, not from the drum throne, but from where the trumpets were, I remember looking at his face and he was just like, wow, that sounds completely different than it does on stage. So you should introduce who is talking. So to your left is? Tobias Siegel, our drummer. And to your right? Is Harry Epstein, trumpet player. Right. And they played big roles in a tune like Harlem Congo. Um, how do you program a tune, tune like Harlem Congo? It's an older tune. It's from the 30s. Uh, it's a really diff- difficult style to, you know, to get your hands around. Um, how do you program a tune like that? Well, I think uh, every year, I think very uh, broadly in the curriculum that we choose in the charts, you know, 80% of your curriculum is the repertoire that you're playing at least. So because of that, uh, having earlier uh, uh, periods of jazz represented like Chick Webb is, is, has to be the feature. And actually the kids picked that. We tried to do uh, Swing in the Blues at the beginning of the year, 57 feet apart. And those da da do da 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 do da 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 that was a mess, no matter how hard we tried. So we had to discard that. Yeah, they're all saying yes behind me. Uh, we had to discard that. And they were the ones, uh, when you announced that this was going to happen, we had kind of thought that it might not. I looked at the band and said, do you want to do it? And they all said, yeah. And we learned Harlem Congo in a month. So that's oh, all them. <clears throat> let me let me go to Harry for a second. So Harry, you play the trumpet solo on Harlem Congo. Um, you know, what's your, other than the recording itself, what's your, uh, you know, your influence and your inspiration for that solo? Uh, it was a lot of listening, definitely. Not just, uh, I mean, certainly the original Chick Webb recording, but also listening to some other recordings, even some other high schools playing at uh, Ellington over the years. I think I found one of Dillard doing it a few years back, uh, and I think another one of Roosevelt, and sort of learning from other trumpet players in high school, just like me, who have come before me and hearing different influences in their playing and their styles, and really trying to compile that and make something that's both my own, but also really learns from them as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, Toby, let's go to you. So. you're you're holding down the the seat of Chick Webb. Yeah, that's a tough task, Todd. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I did my best, and um, I tried to just channel that that energy, that just fire, and um, I don't know. Over the course of the past year, I've I've done a lot of like. I've cried a lot, like I've done a lot of like exploring my own psychic shadow and like what that yeah. means and it's like, yes, woo! And Jeez. so I, I hope that sort of that depth came across in, in playing and, and um, yeah. Yeah, Toby! Yeah, Toby! Yeah, Toby! Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it definitely did. The band sounded just phenomenal. Uh, congratulations to you all. I really think you probably all ought to go shopping somewhere else and get some different shirts. Uh, <laughs> but again, congratulations, uh, Mr. Antonucci. Congratulations to the Hall High School Band. Just a pleasure having you here. Thank you and congratulations. The band sounds great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Woo! And now, 